In this video, I'll be showing you the quickest way to customize all of the files. So once you've actually downloaded the website template files, you'll find a zip folder, unzip the folder and upload everything to your server. Wherever you want to actually upload it, upload it to there. And what you'll see, you already have the index page, you have the one of two page, you have the lead magnet page, you have the OTO one page and everything as outlined in the video tutorial is already done for you. So upload them um, to your actual server and then we're ready to actually take a look at them. What you want to do next is visit the actual pages and see what areas you want to actually customize and change. So you might have an area that says HQ suggest, in which case if you have something like Dreamweaver then you can open it with Dreamweaver but if you don't have something like Dreamweaver then you can even open it with something like Notepad. Just go to your own website URL, have a look at the content that you want to change and then you can change it here. So for example I'll do a control F and I'll type in HQ suggest and I'll do a find next. And as you can see, it's picked up HQ suggest and I'll replace that with whatever my software name was. I'll do another search and as you can see, okay, that's actually the HQ suggest image there. Um, as you can see, it's got another HQ suggest there and I'll be replacing these with whatever I see um, on the actual page. When you wanna change the actual URLs of the videos, then all you have to do is find the video code, um, download whatever video you want that represents these ones here and then upload them to your own YouTube channel or to your own location and replace the URLs that way. Okay, and now when it comes to images, then in the same folder that you've downloaded and you've uploaded as well, um, you'll have an images folder. And if you actually go over and look at these in extra large view or look at um, the icons in large icons, whatever, you can actually see the images that you're gonna wanna be replacing. Now I think on here, there's only one or two images that you wanna replace. One of them is gonna be the hqsuggest.png. You can see the dimensions in Windows itself. It says 426 times 530. I don't believe we've got our image or my image on the actual home page, so, um, um, I'm hoping that this hasn't come to you, but if it has, guys, then you can disregard that. Um, and other than that, guys, just have a look at the images that you'd like to replace. So, for example, if you want to replace the screenshot of your um, of the software, if the software is shown, then you can replace the screenshots of them, um, and you'll see everything in the images. So, the only things you have to really customize um, is what the text is and you can do the text by doing find and replacing you can change the images by just passing out and swapping over the images that you want to use um, and everything else regarding the payment buttons and everything is explained here anyway now there's one more thing that i've actually set up for you guys that i haven't explained in any other video and i'm hoping you'll pick it up before this video anyway and that's we've got a white label setup checklist you can download the spreadsheet or the pdf guide and i've got the pdf guide opened up in one of these tabs here oops Okay, I'll actually open it up again. And as you can see, we've got a whole setup guide for you. From customizing your software, um, to uploading the software or, and the files to your server, um, to testing the license client and make sure everything's working. And then when you come here on section five, this is where it talks about setting up your sales funnel by downloading everything, uploading it to your um, server and making sure everything's done. So anyway, it's super simple, it's super straightforward, guys. You don't need any fancy software to work with this. You can do it with um, you know, your normal notepad, um, HTML, or normal editor um, the only thing is is just upload everything to your server first visit the actual files find exactly what you want to change such as the name or anything else then do a search and replace and search and replace for the images as well guys and that's all it is to it thank you very much and i really hope you enjoy working with hq suggest